We've been here, today is Wednesday. We live walking distance to many beaches. Come on, let's go! Welcome to the beach! on the floor. <laughs> We're here for the video you've all been maybe waiting for. If you didn't watch our other video, just go, go and watch that video first. Don't watch this one yet. Are right, you ready? Yeah. Over and out. Goodbye, Caraway. See you soon. We're about to see our new home for the very first time, the home that we bought without seeing it in person. <gasps> Is that it? <gasps> ben got up to do something with the dogs. We bought a house in New York and we didn't tell anyone. Are you ready to see our new home? <gasps> Get the first image of us in front of our new home. Yay! <laughs> <gasps> hey, first kiss in New York too. I haven't seen it in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, there's at least one or other two keys here in this pouch. There's one key in that pouch, and that's your two garage door openers. So. <laughs> Ready? There you go. <laughs> Who put me in charge of the door? Yeah. We're going to see our home for the first time ever. I've known Johnny for like nine years a long time. and he yeah. has been our partner in crime to put this thing together and keep it a secret and his wife and him went above and beyond like they always do to like stock the house with toys and with food and with toiletries and with uh, lights and oh my gosh. Hey, do you want to go upstairs? For the past five years, Ben and I have both separately throughout all the whole five year time frame at different times received promptings that we should probably move back. And we've actually both received priesthood blessings at different times throughout these five years saying that we needed to move back to New York. So every time we heard it and felt that we're like, okay, I guess we're going to go back. And every time we tried to get it to work out, it just didn't. It never, it never, ever, ever, ever worked out. So, Ben and I just signed a year lease to our house in Utah for another year. And it wasn't until a few weeks after we signed for another year that Ben and I were reading our patriarchal blessings together. And after three hours of just talking to each other, we looked at each other and we're like, I think now's the time. Like, I think we gotta go. <laughs> so we didn't want to tell anyone originally just until we knew it was like a for sure thing. So by the time it became a sure thing, we were already leaving. So we just decided we're not gonna tell anyone. We're so close to being there that we're just gonna surprise my family in person. And so we did exactly that. So New York is where I'm from, if you didn't know that. All of my family is here still. I've been gone for almost nine years and I never thought I would move back. <laughs> I don't think my family ever thought that I'd move back and they are in for the surprise of their life. Like this is the ultimate blind side and I got all of the reactions on camera. We're pulling into my mom's driveway right now. She thinks that, I know she's home because she thinks that we're gonna get on Skype right now at our house in Utah. Careful. Um, but we're actually pulling into our driveway right now. 
And Ben hit the curb. He here? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We're at my mom's house. She doesn't know that we're, we're, we're she doesn't even know that we were even thinking of a house. Oh my gosh, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? That's crap. So my sister's on her way right now. She has no idea where she's going. She thinks she's going out to dinner with her husband, but her husband is bringing her to this random house. That will answer. Yeah. I am like, my heart is like, Guys, be careful up there. blessings don't come in order and so yeah it's really easy to allow passing time to dim the promises that God has given to us 
But here we are many years later after a prompting we received five years ago saying that we're gonna move. And after moving to Arizona and then back to Utah and none of it was New York, it's easy to be like, well, that was a weird thought. <laughs> but here we are. His promises don't come in order, but they do come. It's kind of an interesting process to buy a house. We didn't see this house that we bought in person until we were moving we in. It. Yeah. That is cool. Like the realtor guy, he, Who, uh, he I, actually grew up with Al. Yeah, we graduated together. So it was really interesting to so, reconnect. Like, there was that connection where, you know, they were from the same town. They knew each other, but he was a way helpful guy. Derek was a way awesome dude would go see any house for us that we wanted. He understood our situation. He was excited for our situation. And they were also helpful. They knew that we were out of the state, so they made it an easy process just to use, you know, online. So basically how it looks is we would find a house online. We would send him there, our realtor, and, and we would us. FaceTime each other. And that's how we found our house. Yeah. Ben and I had to really stretch and use our gift of discernment and to really listen to the spirit because there was a lot of houses that we really loved that we just like didn't yeah. feel good about. And then there was other houses that we, I don't know, like the whole thing was just so completely inspired, the whole process. And I always, if there's one thing that I learned most, about moving across the country and this whole way that we did it was like, I always thought the scriptures saying that God could move mountains was like a metaphor because you're not going to see a mountain move in our day. Not that I would assume, but I realized that it's not a metaphor. It is real deal promise because this entire process yeah. was miracle after miracle. And I saw like literal mountains move to make this possible for years now i've told ben that whenever we buy a house we are painting the door yellow that's all i wanted was a house with a yellow door so since today is thursday and we still haven't gotten any of our stuff from our moving truck yet we're painting our door Ta -da! yeah my dreams of having a yellow door are happening. It is Thursday. We've been here for several days and we still haven't gotten our stuff yet. Tomorrow it'll come. We've kind of just been bunkering down in the master bedroom. The yellow door's coming along. We had a guaranteed one coat and we're on our fourth coat, so you tell me. After us being here for five days without anything. But here's the thing. Oh. It's stuck. We can't get our stuff out of the divider, so we're all just hanging out for them to come back here and fix it so we can get our stuff. Pretty soon. What are you doing? Did you get it? But check this out. Let's go see it. Okay, ready? <gasps> Yellow door. It's dry. It's dry. Panic is leaving. We couldn't get this thing open. He had a. Uh, Some stuff spilled out, obviously. He Goodbye. had to come with a sledgehammer and open it. So after an hour and a half, we are finally, for real this time, getting our stuff. Batman, you need shoes on. Good job. Oh, no, hold on, Jack. Hold on. I'll never let go. I'll never let go, I'll never let go Rose. <laughs> we got a U Pack truck, which is essentially you just get a semi truck dropped yeah. off at your house. We pack it, they drive it, it's really, we unpack it. It's how we moved out, and then we had two cars. Aww. Oh. We had two cars, so I had the doggies. <laughs> Yeah, we have our two cars. 
Ben took our Subaru with the dogs, both of them. Gatsby's over there like eating his leg. And then I drove our journey, our Dodge journey mm -hmm. with the kids. Tell us in the comments below which car you would want to drive, a car with 200 pound dogs or a car with two toddlers by yourself. We'll do our house tour in the next video to show you where we moved. I know we're just sitting on our floor right now, <laughs> but we will get into this week's message in this week's montage. Be sure to subscribe for new videos every Monday. Do you want to start our music? I already am. Not once has things gone the way that I had in mind, not once, and that could be hard. Especially if it's something that means so much to you. It's then that we have these fleeting thoughts of, does God care about me? Like, is he even there at all? But how grateful, how grateful I am that they did not go the way that I had in mind. Because they have been profoundly better than what I ever could have imagined for myself. Greater than I even knew existed. Yeah, maybe things are hard. And maybe things aren't going how we had in mind. But we will, without a doubt, look back and be grateful for where we are, what we went through to get there, and what we gained along the way. Embrace the unexpected, knowing who is guiding you. Take heart. Take heart in your unexpected, in your hard, in your confusing, in your unwanted and unplanned experiences. That's God bringing you to the better things. Everything I have now is because things did not go my way. And it breaks my heart to imagine my life any different. This week and always, I'm grateful for God's ways and allowing Him to show me how great He really is.